This is a middle-aged patient who had a feeling of bloating of abdomen with a feeling of fullness of the pelvis. She also complained of decrease in the quantity of menstrual bleeding. She gave a history of previous caesarean section delivery. Transabdominal ultrasound imaging shows an enlarged cervical canal filled with fluid, possibly menstrual blood, which is often visible as anechoic fluid-filled space within the cervical canal. Sometimes the fluid accumulation can extend into the uterine cavity, which was not the case here as the fluid is limited to the cervix. Transverse section of the cervix also confirms the presence of fluid within the cervix. A diagnosis of cervical hydrops was made based on these ultrasound findings. Cervical hydrops is characterized by the accumulation of fluid within the cervical canal and can present as an incidental finding or lead to clinical symptoms. It is typically diagnosed using transabdominal and transvaginal ultrasound imaging. In this patient, the cervical hydrops is the result of cervical stenosis or adhesions due to previous caesarean section deliveries. Cervical stenosis refers to the narrowing of the cervical canal, often caused by scarring from previous surgeries, radiation therapy or congenital factors. In cases of cervical stenosis, the normal flow of mucus and menstrual blood may be obstructed, leading to the accumulation of fluid within the cervical canal. This fluid buildup results in cervical hydrops, where the cervical canal becomes distended due to the trapped fluid. Other causes of cervical hydrops include cervical erosion, mullerian anomalies, infections, trauma or surgery, cervical polyps and miscarriage or pregnancy complications, and cervical carcinoma. In our case, it was a cervical stenosis leading to the buildup of fluid within the cervical canal or cervical hydrops, the result of a previous history of uh, caesarean sections. Over time, the retained menstrual blood within the uterus can exert pressure on the cervical canal. The pressure buildup leading to the distension or dilation of the cervical canal, resulting in the accumulation of fluid in the canal itself, is known as cervical hydrops. Transvaginal ultrasound in both sagittal as well as in the transverse planes further confirm the presence of significant cervical fluid or cervical hydrops. Color Doppler ultrasound shows no internal vascularity within the cervical canal, ruling out the possibility of a cervical polyp or other mass lesions. The prognosis depends on the underlying cause and whether it is associated with any significant symptoms. Management methods include observation. Asymptomatic cases may not require intervention and may resolve spontaneously. Surgical intervention may also help relieve the stenosis within the cervix, resulting in resolution of the cervical hydro. This patient decided to undergo conservative treatment and there was spontaneous resolution of the cervical hydrops in her case.